sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Popeye. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box, of course, when it comes to the Mesco 112 line. So on the front of the slipcover here on the top does say 112 Collective Post Plate Display. Then on the center we do get an image of Popeye's face. And then on the bottom it does say Popeye. Then the bottom of the actual box here we do get a warning and blah 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 stuff nobody cares about. And here is the top of the actual box. And then the one side of the slipcover does have an image of an anchor, which is the tattoo Popeye does have on his forearm. Same thing on the other side. Then the back does show a bunch of the promo images along with all of the accessories included with this figure. So once you remove the slipcover here, we do get the window displaying the figure and the accessories there. And then the sides of the box here says 112 Collective. Then the back, we do get the very large Mesco Toys logo. But anyway... That is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to take a closer look at this character who has the biggest forearms and chin that I've ever seen. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and Mesco absolutely killed it with this Popeye. I mean, who the hell really wanted a Popeye figure, but it turns out that this thing is so damn awesome. You're gonna want to have this Popeye figure. The face sculpts, I think, turned out fantastic. Really nice job on it. We get some stubble. On his huge wide chin right there we get some nice like shading in between all the wrinkles on his face which look great the eyebrows nice clean paint on that we even have those specks all on the skin to give it that very realistic type look and I, I really dig the way this Popeye looks because it's not just realistic but it has a very gritty type look to it which looks awesome we got the one eye that's closed there the other one uh, nice clean paint on the eye there. And then uh, we get the rest of his bald head. The ears even turned out really good. And then his neck has some uh, wrinkles sculpted on there. We get those dots on it as well. Now for the cloth clothing, I think it turned out really nice. We get these like plastic buttons glued on there. And there's like a seam going across the chest. Some people might not like it. It doesn't really bother me too much. It just looks like a wrinkle. In the shirt there, you can see the stitching on the bottom and on the side. As well the rolled up sleeves look really cool and then we get this piece that sailors used to have I don't know if they still have them uh, I don't even know what it's for but I love the fabric that they chose for it it feels really nice and then they put like a black line going along the edge of it which looks pretty cool but really nice job on the shirt and then the pants we get a couple black buttons plastic buttons that are glued on there and it's supposed to look like he has jeans on, which looks good. It, it does look like he's wearing jeans. And they did hide the stitching on the uh, sides of the legs right there, which looks pretty cool. And I like how the pants get wider at the bottom. It's like he's wearing bell bottoms. And his arms turned out really good, too. We get the huge Popeye forearms. I'm not sure if he's supposed to have tattoos on both sides of his forearm. I thought it was just on the one side, but I could be wrong. We get those specks on the skin tone as well and just nice sculpt all throughout the forearm and if you look under the shirt a lot of people have been taking the shirt off they did sculpt the muscle definition all under it and everything so if anybody was curious about that because i've noticed a lot of people have been taking the shirt off and posing him like that and then the boots one of the coolest things about the figure here the, the boots look so awesome beautiful detail on that man we get some nice like a nice wash on it you can see the stitching all throughout the boots some sculpted wrinkles on it the laces look dope and it's actually two pieces so you have the foot and then you have the ankle piece and they both do articulate which we'll go over later then the bottom of the boots here not much going on besides a couple peg holes but overall i think mesco killed it with the detail and they definitely could not have done any better of a job when it comes to the paint and sculpt along with the cloth clothing but anyway Let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a bunch of awesome stuff included with this Popeye, and they included the best type of accessories you can include with a Popeye figure. Before I go any further, I just want to mention that they forgot to include the pea coat, the coat that is supposed to be included with this Popeye figure with my figure. So that is really, really disappointing, but I know I'll be able to get a replacement with no problem. So what we do get first and foremost, which is what we always get with Mesco figures, we do get the Mesco bag in case you are somebody who likes to store your accessories in here. So we do get that. And then we do get the Mesco stand. So we do have the base here with the anchor on it. And we do have a peg in case you want to peg the figure into it. Then we do have the arm and the clamp in case you would like to make the stand out of it. 
So we do get that stuff, and then we do get two interchangeable heads or faces and three alternate hats. And for the faces, starting on the left, we do get the basic stern face, which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already did take a look at, and they did a fantastic job with the detail on that one. Then on the right, we do get the more angry teeth grid type face, and both faces do look similar. You can see the angry teeth gritted face, a little bit of his teeth are showing on the left side of his mouth, and his lips are kind of more pronounced, unlike the basic stern face on the left there and they do both have tiny peg holes on the left side of the mouth for the pipes one thing i noticed about this face here is there's no stubble around his chin like how there is on the basic stern face but it is very simple to swap the heads i'm going to show you how to do it in a second so we do get the two interchangeable heads and then we do get the three alternate hats so starting on the left we do get the more basic classic Popeye hat that you always see him wearing in the cartoons and stuff and they did a fantastic job with the sculpt and paint on that even on the rim you could see like some stitching it has a very dirty type look to it so beautiful job on that hat then the hat in the middle is like the basic sailor type hat and you can see the stitching all throughout it I love the worn dirty type look to it both those hats look fantastic then finally on the right we do get like that knitted cap or knitted hat and it does look like a knitted cap the way it's sculpted i mean mesco really does an amazing job when it comes to detail it is very simple to swap the caps along with the heads i'm going to show you how to do that right now and swapping the heads and the hats is very simple so when you want to pop the heads off basic for mesco just pull up pops right off take the new head peg that in and there you go as simple as that now for the caps here the two white ones do have magnets on the bottom of them this magnet actually came unglued on mine and was stuck on his head so i did have to glue it back on but there is a magnet somewhere in his head because it holds these hats on this one does not have one because it fits on his head perfectly it's shaped perfectly to fit his head as you can see there and i really dig the way all these hats actually look on the figure so that's that hat now for the basic sailor hat here this one fits on his head really well also and since it has a magnet you could put it sideways a little forward you could put it however you like which is awesome so i really dig that they put the magnets on the hat and finally we do get the classic popeye hat and that one has the magnet as well so you can put it sideways on either side make it go forward a little bit and it just uh, it, it just gives you more display options with the figure so we do get the alternate heads and hats and then we also get six different smoking pipes so popeye is included with six different smoking pipes and they're all the same exact pipes so we do get the three on the bottom that do not have the smoke coming out of it and then we do get the three on the top that do have the smoke coming out of it and the smoke looks great it's a very nice translucent plastic with some white paint added onto it and the pipes themselves look great too and i'm not sure why they gave us a bunch of the same pipes maybe in case you break it because they are very very tiny and can be lost very easily i'm going to show you how to put them on popeye right in this second and the way you get the pipes in his mouth as you can see he has a tiny peg hole on both sides of his mouth as you can see right there this one is more on an angle why this one you just put it straight in like i'll show you on this one quickly and don't force it too much you don't want to break it i mean they did give you enough so it doesn't really matter matter if you break one or two of them so that's how you get that one in but this one's more in an angle so you have to kind of go up with getting that one in as you can see right there but i mean having that pipe in there makes the figure look so much better because that's classic popeyes so we do get the pipes and then we also get a bag two cans of spinach a compass and a spyglass so we do have the bag here that does say popeye on it and it does have a drawstring at the top here just be careful not to make it too tight because these little metal pieces can come out of the holes. One of them did on mine. I had to pop it back in. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool that they did include this. You can throw like his accessories in there and have him like throw it over his back or something like that. But it is made of real cloth as you can see. I like the way the bottom feels. It's kind of like a, a, I don't know what type of cloth material. But it feels pretty good. So we do get the bag. And then we do get two cans of spinach here. So we do have the one that isn't opened. Which looks really good. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like an old can that's been sitting around for a while with all that paint detail on the top and bottom. Then we do get the one that he broke open and is about to eat some spinach out of it. The spinach turned out pretty good. They did make it glossy to give it like a wet 
type look and you can see the cans all rusty and everything and that, that just looks really cool very nice paint detail on the cans of spinach so we do get those and then we do get the compass and the spyglass here and the compass looks pretty cool a very nice tiny paint detail on the actual compass right there you can see where it says north south east and west and it does have some nice like uh like a like a faded look to it like he's been carrying this around for a really long time we get some nice sculpt on the top right there just really cool looking compass here very nice work by Nesco. so we do get that then we do get the spyglass the issue with my spyglass is this piece pops off on me and it's a bit irritating but what is also cool this is really tight on mine you could actually close it whoops pop that piece off again but you can close it all the way let me try to do it here so I can show you. I'm afraid of breaking it. There we go. So you can close it all the way and then you can reopen it. Uh, yeah, as you can see right there. So that is a cool little feature to add with the spyglass here. Then we do get a piece of translucent plastic on this side that keeps popping off on me. There we go again. And then on that side as well. So we do get that stuff. And then we finally get seven alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. And then we do get two types of gripping hands. So we do have a gripping hand here for the right hand where his two fingers are a little more extended out. And this is meant for like the spyglass. You could use it for the compass as well. Then we do get a regular left gripping hand, which is meant for the cans of spinach. Then we do get a pair of open resting hands. And finally, we get a right pointing finger hand and another really cool thing about these hands is that you can see dirt all throughout his fingernails on all seven of them and it's just really great little tiny detail like that that really brings these figures to life even as the uh the the specks all throughout the skin tone just like the rest of the figure so beautiful paint sculpt throughout all seven of them and they're all very simple to swap out but anyway that is all the great accessories included with popeye Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Hey, gay, 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 gay. Yeah, that was a bad Popeye impression, I know. Now, for the height of Popeye to the very top of his bald head, it looks like he stands a little bit over five inches and three quarters of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to some other bald-headed characters. The SH Figure Arts Nappa and Thanos, the Dassin model Saitama, and the Mafex, the Dark Knight Rises Bane. And then here he is compared to the ESH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America, the Rebel Tech Magneto, the Mesco 112 exclusive Iron Man, and the Marvel Legends Moon Knight. And he is a little bit shorter compared to other Mesco 112 figures. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Tactical Suit Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mesco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we get some pretty good movement with this Popeye. Some points I wish were a little bit better though, but most points of articulation are good on this figure. So we do have two joints at the neck here. The upper neck joint, you could get Popeye to pretty much look all the way up, which is definitely awesome. Looking down, he just looks straight ahead. Do get pretty good pivot there, and then of course it does swivel. The lower neck joint goes back just a tiny bit, so with both joints you can get them to look up. And then going forward, it goes forward a lot, so you can get them to look down a really good amount. And then we do get very nice pivot there, and then it also swivels. So combining both the joints at the neck, you do get some good articulation there. Then we do get a point of articulation at the torso right under the chest, and Popeye doesn't really crunch forward that much with that joint but he does go back a good amount with it you do get pretty good pivot there and then it slightly swivels the waist here goes forward and back a really good amount so combining both joints he crunches forward very well and combining both joints he goes back a lot also really nice pivot at the waist beautiful pivot there and then it does swivel as well so really nice movement at the waist and torso much better than other Miss Cole 112 figures. Now at the shoulder here, there is no like butterfly joint there, so you're not going to get any shoulder movement when it comes to that point of articulation. But the arms do go out to the sides uh, a little more than 90 degrees, which is definitely good. That joint is very tight. They do go up and down. We don't have bicep swivel. You will have to use it 
at the shoulder there and then the elbow joints we have single jointed elbows that bend about 90 degrees you can force it a little bit more but the joint will pop out a little bit we do get swivel at the elbow as well then we do have a big ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth now for the legs here Popeye can kick forward uh, about 90 degrees goes to the back just a tiny bit and kicking out to the side they go about 45 degrees which isn't too bad then we do get the upper thigh swivel we do have I think double jointed knees let's see if I could just check yes they are double jointed so we do have double jointed knees and they do bend back almost all the way which is definitely good then for the ankles here as I mentioned the boots are in two pieces so we're the boot cut is it does swivel there it also swivels at the foot or the ankle hinges up just a tiny bit really doesn't hinge down too much and then just the ankle movement like usual with Mezco isn't really that good and and it shows on this Popeye here so really not the best ankle movement with the pivot and moving up and down but overall he, he does have some decent movement and you're going to be able to get him in some pretty good Popeye like poses and I'm about to show you some of those right about now but anyway that is my review of the Mesco 112 collective Popeye hope you enjoyed it if I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I'd have to give it an even 8 if you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure I did get mine from Ageless Geeks so you can head over to agelessgeeks.com I do believe he still has this in stock I would highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. slipcover here on the top to see Mesco or that damn it doesn't say Mesco it just says 112 collective so on the front of the slipcover here on the top it does say 112 for the promo images and then it does and then it does display all the accessories that is included with thy figure I messed that up so I'm gonna have to redo it and the Dassin model one punch Saitama and the bubbly chubbity bubbly boo and the Dassin model Saitama and the Mafex Chubbity 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 Choo. The SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America, the Revil Tech, oh, almost called him Iron Man. We do get the basic stern face, which is the one that. Blah, 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 blah. And you can see a little bit of his teeth coming out the right side of his mouth. And they do both have tiny little peg holes on the left. Oh, I said right, damn it. Damn it! So we do get the two interchangeable. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on to the accessories, we had a bunch of awesome stuff included with this Popeye and the... Uh,